This video is about using the distributive property and combining like terms to simplify an expression. So the distributive property rules to follow. So what's going to happen is the value that is outside the parentheses is going to multiply with both in the parentheses. So we would have a times b plus a times c. So for example, if we have five times, let's say 2x plus 3. When we distribute our 5, we have 5 times 2x, which is 10x, and 5 times 3, which is plus 15. The same thing happens when it's a subtraction. So if I distribute my a, I would have a times b minus a times c. So for example, 2 times 3x minus 1, 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times negative 1 is minus 2. So in the distributive property, we are going to use two operations. You are going to multiply, and then you are going to either add or subtract in that middle section based on the sign it has. So here's some more examples. Let's try some problems. So in number one, we have 5x plus 3, so we are distributing the 5. So 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 3 is plus 15. In number two, the number is behind the parentheses, so we're still distributing, though. So it's 7 times negative y, which is negative 7y, and negative 6 times 7, which is minus 42. In number three, there's just a negative sign there. So that's really a negative 1 that we are distributing. So negative 1 times negative 6g is positive 6g. Negative 1 times positive 14 becomes minus 14. In number 4, when we distribute, the number out front is negative 8. So negative 8 times 3w is negative 24w. Negative 8 times negative 5 is plus 40. In number 5, we are distributing a negative 4. So negative 4 times negative 3p is going to be 12p. Negative 4 times negative 10 is plus 40. In number 6, again, the number is behind the parentheses, so we're just distributing that negative 3. Whatever is by itself is what's being distributed. So we have negative 3 times negative 2x, which is 6x. And we have negative 3 times 8, which is negative 24. In number 7, we might need a calculator for that. So we are distributing 4 to both of those fractions. So on our calculator, we would just have 4 times parentheses 6 divided by 5. Remember, it's a fraction, so we don't want decimals. We're going to hit the math key, enter, enter. So we would have 24 over 5x. And then we're going to multiply again. 4 times negative 7 divided by 6. I'm going to treat that as a negative because of the subtraction sign. Math, enter, enter. So we would have negative 14 thirds. So subtracting 14 thirds. In number 8, we are going to distribute the 2 fifths. So we have 5 times parentheses. 5 times parentheses, 2 divided by 5. That gets us 2q plus 10 times 2 divided by 5, which is 4, so plus 4. In number 9, we distribute the negative 2 thirds. So in our calculator, negative parentheses negative 2 divided by 3 times 18 is negative 12c, negative 2 divided by 3 in parentheses times negative 7, math enter enter, becomes positive 14 thirds. The other skill that we are going to learn is combining like terms. So when you combine like terms, they must be the same variable, which is the same letter, to the same exponents. So here's some examples below. So we have the w's that go together and we have the numbers that go together. We have the x cubes that go together, the x squareds go together, and the x's. We have the y squareds go together, 
we have the xy's that go together and then we have the x squared that go together. so notice that everything has to look the same we're just combining those numbers in the front so in number 10 we have 4x plus 9 minus 2x plus 4 plus 10. So if I look at what I'm combining here, the x's are the same, so we use those signs. 4 minus 2 gets us 2x. We also have these numbers, so 9 plus 4 plus 10. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 10 is 23. In number 11, we have 3x and 4x, so 3x plus 4x is 7x. And then we have our y's. So 9y minus 3y is 6y, minus 5y just gets us y. So we can either write 1y or just y because it means the same thing. In number 12, we have an x squared and an x squared. So x squared minus x squared is 0x squared. So we're just not going to write it anymore. And then we have 9x plus 2x, which is 11x. In 13, we have x squared minus 8x squared, which gets us negative 7x squared. We have 2x minus 12x, which is negative 10x. And we have negative 3 minus 7, which is negative 10. Notice, x squared and x are different, so they each have their own spot in our final answer. Now, we can put those skills together to simplify. So in these problems, we have to distribute and then combine like terms. So in number 15, I'm going to distribute my 4. Notice I'm only distributing to the x and the negative 2. 13 is not in the parentheses, so we're going to leave it alone. So we get 4x minus 8 plus 13. I only have one x term, so it's going to stay as 4x. We have negative 8 plus 13, which gets us 5. In number 16, we have to be really careful about what we're distributing here. A lot of us will want to distribute the 14, but 14 is not touching the parentheses. This negative sign is. So we're distributing the negative sign to change our sign. So we have 14 plus 6x minus 1 minus 3x. Notice 14 and negative 3x did not change. So if I look at my like terms, I have 2x's, 6x minus 3x. It's us 3x. And then we have 14 minus 1, which is plus 13. In number 17, we have two sets of parentheses. So when we distribute the 5, we have 10x minus 15. In our other parentheses, we're going to distribute the negative 2. So negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So when I go to combine like terms, I only have 1x squared, so it stays the same as 2x squared. I only have 1x, so that's going to stay as 10x. I do have two constants, though. Those are going to combine together, negative 15 minus 10, to get us negative 25. In 18... The first parenthesis, we're going to distribute the 7. So 7 times 3w squared is 21w squared. 7 times 2 is 14. In our second one, we have 4 times 2w squared, which gets us 8w squared, and 4 times 5, which gets us 20. So we have 2w squared terms that can combine together. 21 plus 8 is 29w squared. And then we have 14 plus 20, which gets us 34.